Hello viewers. Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about an all-time interesting topic. Who is Santa Claus? Santa Claus is a both a deeply mysterious character and everybody's friend. What do we actually know about him? Where does Father Christmas come from? We will get all these answers today in this video. Santa Claus is a man we know from European culture, who was then brought to the United States and beyond. He is basically a bishop with the name of Nicholas. In fact, he was declared a holy person by the Catholic Church, and that's why people call him Saint Nick. Over the course of centuries, Northern European countries such as Germany, France and the Netherlands have combined the story of Saint Nicholas with local pagan mythology. In Germany, as you can see here, the bishop roams the land with angels and demons by his side. The latter are called Krampus. Dressed in straw and animal skins with black makeup or masks on their faces, they go door to door with Saint Nicholas and bring good luck to virtuous people and punishment to naughty and lazy people. Considering he is very popular in northern countries, you'd assume that Saint Nicholas originally came from a land of snow and reindeer. But nothing is further from the truth. Saint Nicholas is actually from the ancient city of Patara on the Lysin coast in present day Turkey. Yes, he's Turkish man. The Nicholas we've all come to know as Santa was born about 16 centuries ago. Santa Claus is Bishop Nicholas of Myra who lived in the 4th century. However, there is also an Abbot Nicholas of Zion who lived in the same region about 200 years later. Over the years, the two Nicholases have probably merged in the people's memory and become one character, Saint Nicholas. Nicholas of Myra was born into a wealthy family in the port city of Patara. When his parents died, he inherited a fortune and decided to distribute the money among the poor, the sick and the needy. This is the reason why Santa Claus is known as a generous man. According to tradition, Santa Claus is not only a benefactor for children. He is also said to have helped three virgins to get married. The saint allegedly gave three golden apples to their poor father so that he could use them as a dowry for his daughters. Bishop Nicholas died between 345 and 351, and it probably happened on December 6. For that reason, Christian cultures have celebrated the saint's day on December 6. The tradition started in the Middle Ages and centered mostly on children and students, because Santa is their patron saint. In the past it was common for children to craft paper boats so that Saint Nicholas could put his presents in them. The reason for this tradition was that the saint is a patron saint of seafarers. According to one of the legends, he saved a group of castaways from a storm. When European emigrants, especially the Dutch, moved to the present-day United States, they took their Saint Nicholas traditions with them. In the Netherlands, the bishop is referred to as Santa Claus, which is very similar to Santa Claus. Over time, Santa Claus became Santa Claus. People in the American colonies combined the European tradition of the Saint Nicholas Children's Feast with the celebration of Christmas on December 24. The saint started to bring his presents on Christmas Eve rather than on his traditional holy day, December 6. Did you know that an advertiser styled Santa the way we know him today? He got his typical red coat and hood with fur lining thanks to a Coca-Cola advertising campaign in 1931. The idea that Santa would travel by reindeer sleigh also came from the US. In Europe, the saint still looks as a bishop. His holy day is celebrated by Germans, Austrians, French, Swiss, Luxembourgers, Belgians, and Dutch. By the time Christmas arrives, they have all had their visits of Santa behind them, because all these countries celebrate the holiday on December 6. This village with just over 1,000 inhabitants is located near Oldenburg in Germany. Every year the residents answer the mail of many children to Saint Nicholas. The Swiss call him Sami Klaus. His servant Truprick threatens to put naughty children in his pocket, just like Krampus in Germany. Since Nicholas was from the Near East, 
it's likely that he was not as light-skinned as most people nowadays make him out to be. Researchers have estimated that Nicholas probably looked something like the man on this 16th century Russian icon. Either way, whether we call the man Nicholas, Mosnili or Santa Claus, this year we will probably see him wearing a safety mask. You also wear a mask and have the courage to fight with devil. I hope this video made you to know at least some unknown facts about Santa. If you like it please share, subscribe for more. Thank you.